Hello everybody, uh, CJ here. Uh, today we are going to be looking at Plan B Terraform by Giddy Gaddy Games. Uh, this game uh, went into early release on February 15th of this year, which is 2023. Uh, the developers described this game as a calm and contemplative science fiction game based on a credible near future. It also offers an educational approach to greenhouse effects and water cycle mechanisms. They go on to say that Earth has a hard time limiting global warming and its catastrophic consequences. Humanity needs a plan B in order to ensure its survival. This is up to you. Okay. I'm going to do a couple episodes of this. See if you guys like it or not. There's going to be... I'll end up like doing... Like jumping forward in the game a few times. Because it. I found uh, when I ran through it a couple times that it uh, takes a little bit to build some things. And get things going. But it's not really... It won't be that disruptive. Anyway, so let's get into it. Push the play button. We will do a new planet. Uh, Ijunba. Mm, it's... Fad... Fabunfu? No, let's go Varn. Yes, our planet's name shall be Varn. You have been mandated to manage the resources of the newly discovered planet. You must bring supplies to the cities and manage terraforming projects. Good luck. And here's our little planet. Now we should have three cities on here. And they all start like this. New Soul. And the other ones are... New Singapore. And New Jakarta. Oh, yes, down here we're going to have a uh, little, uh, like a little mini tutorial kind of thing going on. So the first ones that it wanted us to do was moving the, like learning how to move, right click. It's also WASD and the arrow keys. Also, space works for pause. From what I understand, some of you will really like that. Okay, so in this game, you need to gather resources. And if we go up here, we can click this tab. It'll give us the mineral view, right? So here we have, that'll be sulfur over here. That's sulfur. This is fluorine. Fluorite. Uh, that's aluminum. And these are iron. Oh, look. It wanted us to select some iron. Okay, so New Soul isn't really close to an iron deposit. Which is what we're going to need first. New Singapore, on the other hand, is really close to iron and sulfur. Iron we need to make, like, to build stuff, right? You get iron... You get uh, steel bars and whatnot out of that. And you build most of your items, which are over here, right? And sulfur gives you concrete, which will allow you to build roads and whatnot eventually and increase the size of your cities. So let's go with New Singapore. Okay. So. It wants us to place an extractor over some iron. Now, we selected that iron over there. But we will pick this one here. So we are going to build an extractor. And now it wants us to build a depot. And we will tell it to collect the iron coming from the extractor. Now we need to build a factory. next to there to make steel bars and then we need to stockpile the steel bars into this depot now we need to build an assembly plant
and we are going to need to build or place a bunch of extractors to get to the next level so we will make it build extractors now you don't need a depot for building the items that come up over here they just go from the assembly plants straight into your inventory and you can use them anywhere on the planet um, it wants us to check out the help screen it's the question mark over here and this gives you the basics of, like if you have any questions I had some questions about supplying cities and stuff like that this was a little light on info but it was enough to get me going okay see now it wants us to build 10 extractors oh and we are on pause still so we shall unpause it that will start doing its thing we will place more extractors down and it will build more of them for us we will also start another spot to build more assembly plants no assembly plants take mechanical parts which we can't make yet but we can build more extractors we're gonna need a lot of extractors so let's pick a spot like here put that there to collect some iron and then these guys will do that factory bars that's gonna collect bars and then this will build extractors <coughs> okay That's built another extractor. Put that down there. We are going to need mechanical parts to do anything else, like for these assembly plants, which will come after we get our 10 extractors down. Okay. I think I'll just jump ahead to when we have our 10 extractors. Okay, we have 10 extractors. Now we are going to place the last two. Let's try to find a spot that, like this, that'll surround more. Like, it'd be better if we had more iron here, because then we can get the full capability of the depot. But these will eventually eat into the iron deposit. This doesn't really matter where we place these because these goes directly into the um, inventory anyways, right? Okay, we have passed a level. We are now level two. And it wants us to make, use a factory to transform steel into mechanical parts. So we're going to do that with this one. So this one, oh, and down here you see it's unlocked items, assembly plants, factories, and mechanical parts. So we've got that going on. We'll put down a factory, which will make mechanical parts, and we will use our last depot to collect mechanical parts. We will also switch this from making extractors to depots. So now this one's making extractors, this one's making depots. <coughs> oh, sorry, throat's a little messed up there. Okay, let's get this going on the mechanical parts. We'll put another extractor here. We have room to fit one more once that gets built. So while that's doing its thing, to build five factories and place them on the ground. We shall check out New Jakarta.
Whew, okay. New Jakarta. Okay, maybe New Singapore will be our place for building these things. Because it's doing all right with that. <clears throat> Oop. And then we can zoom out a bit. Zoom in too much. Okay. So that's the fluorine. The sulfur was that way. Actually. Actually, New Singapore is going to be the place, isn't it? Okay. We are going to... Make concrete. Oh, did I put a pad down for the... Uh, I did. Okay. So these will eventually fill up. Because that's a resource, right? The mechanical parts. It's going to go there. And you'll see like it fills up like that with the drone. Like this is doing its thing. Whew. What has gone... Oh, I messed this up, didn't I? Okay, this needs steel bars to make mechanical parts. Ugh. I've done this before. Make steel bars. Go there. Then... What? Oh no. Hang on a second. Let me think about this. I need a factory. parts to make a factory. I am going to have to stop this. Okay, I think I sorted this out. I had to stop the mechanical part making there because I need to make factories. So I rejig this line to making factories. It's unfortunate, but that's what's gonna have to happen. So once the first factory gets made here, I'll put it there to keep making the mechanical parts there. Yes. <clears throat> okay. And we'll just wait until it... Oh, it might be making it now. Mm, it is not. We'll jump ahead until we have these lines sorted out. Okay, we have a couple factories made now. We'll put this one back over here to make mechanical parts. Oh, to make steel bars. Followed by this to make mechanical parts. Oh, we're now level three because I have five factories on the ground. Okay. We're going to have to build a supply center for, uh, what was it? New Singapore. Well, for all of our cities, but we're going to go with concentrate on New Singapore. So, level three, we have unlocked concrete, trucks, roads, road stops, and the supply center. Supply center takes concrete to make, which is from sulfur. 
trucks are just mechanical parts and the roads are concrete. Okay, so let's get this sorted out over here. This is making mechanical parts. I'm gonna plop one of these down here to accept the mechanical parts. Okay, we need to make more factories. So we will continue with that. We need more factories and assembly plants. Okay. I will switch this production to the depots. And then I will come back when, well, we'll jump ahead to when uh, I have enough factories and assembly plants to start the construction of the concrete production. Okay, I think I have enough. <coughs> wow, my throat is really not doing well. Sorry about that. Um, I think I have enough items now to start with the concrete production. So we'll start with this. You're going to collect sulfur, extractors, one, two, three, factory, concrete, depot, accepts concrete. Okay. Now we're going to need a lot of concrete, so we will also build another one here, getting sulfur. Concrete. Concrete. Put some extractors down. Okay, so this is just going to make concrete. Because that'll be... We're going to need to transport concrete to the city to help it grow. This is where we will make the... Um, what you majiggers, these things supply centers. So we have three cities. We will try to make three supply centers. Okay. Now while that's doing that, okay, so let's just make sure what's happening. This is making concrete. That's making supply centers. Over here, we are making depots, yep, assembly plants, and factories. Nobody is making extractors right now. Once this gets to 10, we can switch this to extractors, and then we can get another supply line going on making extractors, or fill in the supply uh, I can speak today. The construction shortfall, whichever that is. It'll be depots, because that'll be switching to extractors. Okay. So concrete's doing its thing. We Do we have one of these yet? We have one. Okay, so we'll pause this for a second. So, supply center needs to go next to your town. So your city is going to expand once you get supplies to it. Um, well, yes. Actually, let's just stick with the one supply center for now. We will switch this to um, road stops and roads. We're going to need one section of road per hex. And we're going to need depots here touching this to receive the... Uh, concrete to help our city grow. So, let's go down here and get this, we're going to jump a, depots is five, but we're, we need extractors because we have to increase the, uh, road construction and whatnot. 
Okay. Because we're going to need a lot of roads. Which we'll probably just tuck up in there. Okay, so once I get that going, I will jump back in with you. Okay, it looks like our roads might be numerous enough now to do that. Um, we also need to make some trucks to drive on said road. Let's pick which one of these is... This is making factories. We'll switch that to trucks for now because we have a bunch of factories. So that's going to do its thing. So trucks don't need a depot either. They just... They go into the universal inventory, though it's not shown over here. So back to town here. We have our supply center. We're going to put a depot down right here. It is going to accept concrete. Get our road. The road will terminate there. And it will start there. Then we collect road. Click road. And you left click once. And then it will draw and of course it's a hex system so it's not going to draw a straight line unfortunately click that there make sure we're connected there okay so now we go click set the origin set the origin okay whatever we click this it's going to transport concrete of course, my arrow's going the wrong way. Go down here and click this, invert the direction of the vehicles. Boom, now concrete shall be coming here. We have one truck on the road and one truck available. Let's increase the trucks available. And then we see our trucks driving down the road. This will tell us insufficient supply. This is asking for, well, yeah, it's asking for concrete right it says there we need concrete and it's insufficient once this gets up to a sufficient supply or a good supply this will say it'll tell us how it's going to adjust our population like if it's growing if it's steady if it's declining if you can't supply everything your population will be on the decline we have a lot of concrete to move so we might as well get as many trucks as we can move in um, do we have any more extractors? We do. Let's... Actually, how many supply centers do we have built? Okay. Supply centers are fixed. So we shall switch this to... Road stops. Road stops, roads, concrete. Okay, that's all looking good there. Let's go back to our concrete or uh, our iron mines. That's making extractors. That's making assembly plants. That's making trucks now. So here, iron extractor, extractor, factory, steel bar. steel bar. Mm. We're out of those. Who's making those? Switch that to depots. Once we get these all sorted out correctly, it'll work out that it just goes and things are building. Um, okay, so we got a steel bars. We need factory, no, an assembly plant, to build extractors. Okay, extractors, trucks, assembly plants, depots. The next wheel we make will be for factories, which we will stuff in up there. So we'll have a depot made. Oh, it's almost ready, okay. see our city is being supplied it's green showing that it's got good growth and well it's growing as a status and it's got good supply
roads are doing well. We're stocking up on those. Okay, now we just need to wait for new Singapore to grow to size 10. So while that's happening, we'll be down here sorting this out. We need to make factories, was I saying? Yeah, depots, assembly plants, trucks, extractors. So we will go here. Oh, we got a depot. Depot will get iron to a factory, which makes steel bars to a depot that takes steel bars to an assembly plant that makes factories. Okay. like it's doing its thing. Oh, and also if you wish to delete an item, you click here on the bulldozer and then you left click and then left click on the item you want to get rid of. Now don't do what I've been doing and forgetting to unclick the bulldozer. See if that little bulldozer icon is there, you can get rid of that. But I have on occasion forgot to click that and ended up like I deleted the city. Although the city still grew, grew the little, this little doodad disappeared. And you can see our city is growing. We're at population eight now. We still have good supply. We can increase trucks to this now. Let's get that up to five, just to keep up with the city growth that's going on. Still plugging away, making roads. How are we doing here? Extractor, okay, things are building nicely now. Okay. So I think we have all of our iron construction on the go. We just need to add more. Oh, and there we go. We have hit level four. And it tells us that our new objective is to make our biggest city reach population of 100. Um, and for that, we are going to need to put down an atmospheric extractor because they need O2. And if we hover over here, we'll see the atmospheric extractor will extract the oxygen, giving us the O2 and carbon from the atmosphere. And then you can see at the bottom of that little tooltip that the cost for it is mechanical parts and aluminum bars. Now also, this carbon, there's not really much we can do with that yet. So we're gonna be storing that off to the side. So let's, what do we need to make this? Mechanical parts and aluminum bars. Where is aluminum? Aluminum is there and mechanical parts were up here. If we can, extractors do we have? Zero so far. Oh, I'm unpaused. Let's unpause this. Okay. This is making mechanical parts. So if I s throw a depot there, I can get aluminum to come there. I can switch trucks to atmospheric extractors. Okay, well let's get on with the extraction of the aluminum. Is there any closer aluminum? No, there isn't, is there? Okay, so let's go here. Let's extract aluminum. So this is gonna go here. It's going to accept aluminum ore. It's gonna go into a factory, which is gonna make aluminum bars. And then we're gonna put down a depot to accept the aluminum bars, right? Then we're gonna get an extractor and it's gonna start extracting. Ooh, maybe I should have put that there because then I could add three. 
two extractors. <clears throat> okay. We're going to put a road end here. And a road end here. We will throw a depot here for aluminum bars. This doesn't need aluminum bars yet. And we'll get a road. We will click. We'll get a road. And we will click. And then we will go. Oh, there's sulfur right there. Oh, it's going to be way longer than we have access to. Okay, so let's just build to where we can. There. Almost connected. Okay. I'll jump ahead to when this road is done and the uh, transport of the bars has begun. Okay. The Luna Bar transportation has begun. We've put a lot of vehicles on that road because it's a longer road. So it'll take longer for stuff to get there as opposed to the concrete, which is starting to pile up over here. These guys are saying that they are stable with limited supply. We really need to build the extractor, which is going to happen over here. We will switch from trucks to atmospheric extractor. It needs one bar and three mechanical parts. Let's get more trucks on there, 15 of them, just to keep this moving along. Okay, we'll jump ahead to when the extractor is complete and I'll show you putting that down. But first, let's check the concrete. It is going to be piling up soon, so we can always take another depot, put it here, tell it to accept concrete, and then they will distribute concrete around. I think our extractor will go here. And then we can put oxygen to there. And then the carbon can go at the back. Do we have an extractor yet? We do not. How many more supplies do we need? Oh, it's making it. We have made an extractor. Okay. So up here, we're going to have a depot for O2, a depot for carbon, and we're going to place the extractor. Uh, yeah, we'll place it here. So if oxygen starts to back up, we can build it that way. Okay. I think we might reduce the amount of trucks bringing uh, concrete down. Actually, no, we'll see how this goes. Okay. Boom. Now this is extracting. Really slowly. chain a couple of atmospheric extractors. Will I be able to do that with the way I place that? I don't think I can. Okay. We can switch this back to it was making trucks, correct? Yes. We'll switch this back to trucks. 
we will reduce this down to five. Okay. Let's see how the atmosphere thing is doing. Is this getting supplied yet? Limited. Still no oxygen. <clears throat> We might want to put, just to increase the supply of oxygen, let's reduce these trucks because we have a stockpile going on there. Take it down to two. You know, I am going to put another one of these down right here. And then hopefully... That will increase our oxygen production. Oh, well, it seems to be saying it's good. It's supplying. Like just on time supply, apparently. Oh, look at that. We might have this worked out just right. Okay. The city is growing. It's good. Supply center is still wanting that need this to get to a hundred. Okay. We're building depots, assembly plants, trucks, extractors, and factories. Slap some more extractors down here. can we do with these aluminum bars? Oh, what's this? Landmark towers. Concrete. Do I want to put those in? Nah. Not yet. Maybe I'll do those in a bit. Once things start getting more confusing. Okay, how's the city doing? Still growing, population is 22. Okay, let's jump ahead until we're at or almost at the 100 population. Oh, we have reached the 100 population goal. I didn't even see that coming, I just kind of... <laughs> I was busy uh, placing down more carbon storage. All of a sudden we're here. Okay, level 5. 100 population. Well, I guess we're at 110, actually. So it took me that long to pause. <clears throat> okay, our hint is a Depot Mark II drones have a range of two hexes. So they'll be able to reach out from two hexes away. So that's good. So when our extractors start um, using up the minerals that they're at and we have to move them out one more hex we just replace our depot with a mark II depot and then the drone should be able to go out to our uh, extractors to pick stuff up still and apparently we have reinforced concrete which is concrete and steel bars polymer bars which is oh, made from carbon we have a lot of that we're making those soon but it produces plastic waste there's the Depot Mark II, which takes aluminum bars and polymer bars. And high-tech parts, which takes aluminum bars and polymer bars. And our new objective is to reach a population of 350. What are the new demands they have here? Reinforced concrete. Which was made from concrete and polymer bars? Was it? Is that correct? Open that back up to find out. Reinforced concrete was made from concrete and steel bars. We need to get steel bars. And 
our concrete together. Okay, so we're going to stop this episode here. I don't know how long it's going to end up being with all the jumps, but anyway. We'll see you in the next episode where we are working on polymer bars and reinforced concrete and all that other jazz at, what were we at, level 5? Yeah, our level 5 stuff. Okay. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe. People need to subscribe. <laughs> uh, feel free to comment too. And let me know if you uh, think this game is interesting. I think it's pretty neat. We haven't even gotten remotely close to the actual objective of the game of terraforming the planet. Okay, until next time. Bye for now. <laughs>